Mrs. Anderson, you've been here in China many, many times, as you said. So I'm really curious to know, is there some um, interesting or some um, really impressive um, examples in terms of environmental protection or ecological civilization that really impressed you, which you think might be helpful for some other countries? Oh, where do I start? <laughs> Maybe, uh, yeah, just uh, No, I'll be very brief because there's so much to say. Right. But I mean, I've talked about, of course, what's happening uh, in terms of the energy shifts and so on. But if we talk about the ecological uh, uh, side of things, you know, right now, China has this policy called redlining, mm -hmm. where they identify where we can do what. Uh, and how are we, what are we going to protect and what is going to be agriculture, etc. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is a very interesting and very remarkable policy. But China has also, especially in the north, moved in on this massive land restoration pro program, restoring millions and millions of hectares. In fact, the sanctuary restoration we recognized under the UN decade of restoration as one of the 10 flagships of remarkable nature. This is not just new. I mean, when I was younger, it's in the 90s, we were working in the lowest plateau also on this incredible restoration. So that kind of work is very, very remarkable and, and noteworthy. Right now, under, again, the president's leadership, there is an expansion of the national parks and protected areas in this country, uh, which is again very remarkable.